What's going on there? I don't see consistency in standards in demanding the same accountability from people from in the same position. The structure, isn't it? Um, the structure under which Zebu worked was different from what Ogum is working under. Under Zebu, rules were clearly defined. We had a management team led by Nanaya and Ponsa, so they could take those decisions. And at the current interim management committee, of which, by the way, the coach, who is supposed to be reporting to them as part of, it's a different structure altogether. And I remember when that, when that committee was formed, it was on, in, in, on the other set, in, on sports on that, I said that there needs to be a certain time frame. I get it, that it's emergency. So what you want to do is put things in place and then you exit, you get a proper structure in place to take over. But there were no timelines to what that emergency management committee was going to do. And I always thought that was going to be a problem. And it, it didn't, it, for now, it doesn't even look like it's an emergency. It looks like it's the mainstay. I don't even now, think there were clear targets. Yeah, and, and there is that as well. And, because, and, for example, and just to feed into what you said, Okum has no contract. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which defines, for example, what his targets are. Like KPIs or are the duration. Yeah. Yes, no nope. key performance uh, index. It's, it's, no expectations of him. This season. So it was, uh, for me, as it, it, we have to, we, people keep beating about the bush, um, running around the circles, but the fundamental problem with Kotoko that we've seen post the Nayan Ponsa has got to be under what structure they are working this season. It's been disastrous. Ogum is a good kid, it's a good coach. We saw him two seasons ago um, in, in Wafa, three seasons ago in Wafa, finishing third, only behind Hato Fuku won the league and Kotoko who came in second. The season that followed, he was in Kotoko, he won the league for yeah. them. You know, so that, he can't be overnight turned into a terrible manager. But there are things at the club that, that is not working. And for him, who has to focus on being a coach, he perhaps is now occupied with too many other things that he shouldn't be venturing into. DK, uh, what has to happen now? Because how do, I, do they arrest this situation? Clearly, the league title is out. They're also out of the FA Cup. So, quite simply, what's the motivation? for the rest of the season, because there's still eight games to the end. Um, to be honest, I perfectly agree with uh, Karim Zito, um, who says you should forget about this season. It's, it's done. I think Karim Zito himself doesn't even understand the reality. They forgot about the league a long time ago. Look, <laughs> point is, I don't think Kotoko is going to be relegated. And in the Ghana Premier League, whether they're top four really doesn't mean anything. You're not going to win the league. You're obviously not going to win the FA Cup because you're out. This season is done and dusted. Um, Citro has said it's about the structure, and for me, it's, it, it doesn't speak of a club that, that really cares about what is going on. For me, the, 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 whoever is in charge of putting the structure together, whoever is in charge of dissolving it and getting back to a properly run football club, doesn't seem to be applying a bit of agency. Because for me, just two seasons ago, we saw what a properly run football club can do in Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Under the uh, management of Nanaya Ponsa, when Ogum was head coach, things were done well yeah. and we saw results on the football pitch. That's what every organization wants. Obviously, there will be things behind the scenes, there will be petty squabbles here and there, it happens everywhere. But the main focus of a football club is to have success on the pitch. And that's what we saw during that time. Then things happened that had to be uh, dissolved. But I thought that this um, IMC would come in a couple of months, quickly structure things and leave. The fact that they are still here with Ogum um, seriously underperforming because, look, seven defeats, it's, it's, it's terrible. This is a terrible run, it's, it's we terrible. have to admit. This is, this is what will get a team that is even bottom of the league fired. Like, yeah. Even a team that expects to be in a relegation fight will be firing their manager if they are doing this. But this I, is, I, have, exactly. Have the players, have the players I think also Kot checked out? Kotoko have the worst form of any team in the Premier League, and uh, no team has lost six of their last yeah, seven. Yeah, it's yeah. not possible. But again, I'm wondering if the players have checked out. If you play for a club like Kotoko, mm. at the start of the season, you are straight away thinking about winning or competing. Yeah. So the fact that with 10 games to go, they are not in contention, has it, has it, the player, have they checked out? They are not in FA Cup, they are not, obviously they are not in Africa, they were not there, and they don't win the league. So... Psychologically, when you play for a club like Kotoko, have they checked out? No, for me, frankly speaking, at least when, I, when you try and put yourself in the player's shoes, okay, after the first two, three defeats, you look at it mathematically. If something changes, we still have the there's still a possibility of going on to compete yeah. for the league title. 
But if my bosses don't seem to be doing anything about mm. it, the coach is repeating the same mistakes, we are still losing games. Obviously, he doesn't look like he, he's serious about winning football games, so why should I? And as you've mentioned, the ambition is up there at the start of the season. They get to a point, he goes home, he takes a shower, he's asking himself, I'm not going to win the league, so why should I go and be putting in tackles? Look at the goals that that lad was, was conceding yesterday. Such poor keeping. It's, it's, it's almost like it's, it's a comedy show. It's a, this is Kotoko. The standards are falling yeah. so badly. On, on the flip side, credit to Dreams because they needed to win to boost confidence, morale, and good, good momentum for them yep. going into the game against Zamalek. So they, they would really much have taken this game as one big preparation for them. Get a win. Let them let come feel good. Pick yeah. some momentum and go into Africa. Congratulations to them.